Hello everybody and welcome to a resurrection of a series I attempted to do a long time ago. So in addition to playing 40k games and things I also collect the tabletop stuff and I have a few sizable armies, probably more armies than I should have but you know that's the, the problem with the plastic crack as they say. However recently I was thinking of what new army to do and then it suddenly hit me and I realized well I was going to do Grey Knights, but I don't know if Primaris Grey Knights are going to be a thing, or if it's worth me doing another army of Space Marines since I already have too many. And I'd often thought about trying Warhammer Fantasy, but unfortunately with that being dead, I have to make do with the substitute. So I did. And I decided to go for, since I love the Dark Elves in Fantasy so much, a Daughters of Cain Force. So the old snake girls of Marathi, so I picked up a box of the start collecting box of Daughters of Cain and had a go through painting them and it had some quite interesting results. So here we are with my fully finished Daughters of Cain battle force and I started with the um, five Medusae. I made them as archers rather than melee just because I felt Daughters of Cain seemed to have a lacking in ranged option. And while I am doing this model more for modeling rather than tabletop, I just like the idea of the arches a bit better. So the color scheme was actually inspired by what I had in my collection of paints rather than anything else. With the lockdown and everything, I've been running low on quite a few paints and it's very actually quite hard to get them more. So the two paints I had in abundance were Thunderhawk Blue and Incubi Darkness, which as you can see is actually made up the uh, main body of the uh, snake part of the snake girls in themselves. Now those two colors I've often used in the past and they do work well together so and I've continued using the Thunderhawk Blue and Incubi Darkness as I go. Another little thing I did was I like the idea of the Daughters of Cain having blood blood drenched here so I added that in as well. I used Blood Angels Contrast on top of uh, Mephiston Red, just to get some realistic blood effects, as you can see on the uh, Medusa here. I added a little bit over the top for the blood, but then you are playing Daughters of Cain, so why not? But yeah, everything's basically standard out of the box, there's no conversions or anything, just because I'm pretty new to Age of Sigma. And as you can see here, I did go a little bit out on the uh, Cauldron of Blood. So you can see the avatar of Cain there. Again, Incubi Darkness with Balthasar Gold. As you can see, sort of done my best with him. Used uh, Warplock Bronze for quite a lot of the, the framework. You can see the Slaughter Queen there, Dual Swords. Again, I used uh, a bit of contrast in addition to the red just to make the blood pile a little bit more interesting. Um, painted up this, the Slaughter Sisters a little bit. Of course the base, uh, gravel, with a little bit of scorched tufts. So yeah, that's actually basically how I started. And hopefully I'm going to continue on with this for. So I think maybe some troops or something magical in terms for next time. But I'm going to chip away at this project for a while. Maybe get a little bit more adventurous and creative. Might make myself some custom objective markers or even just do a few bit swaps here and there, try and make my Daughters of Cain kind of my own. As I said, this was just a trial period at the moment, just to, you know, figure out uh, painting fantasy, if how much different it is from 40k and what things I need to consider. As I said, the flesh was probably some of my most fun. I quite like mixing up the colours a bit and adding a few, you know, washes and things to them. So, yeah, I hope you got a kick out of watching my latest project. And unlike with my Chaos Space Marines, I'm actually going to continue with this little video series, maybe once a month or whatever, whether you want it to or not. So, cheerio!